case. Um, obviously the same thing, guys. We're just going to use the power rule. Right? But we actually didn't do any of these um, because I actually have that in store for my further, my more difficult problems I did. But then I realized, I'm like, you know what? This actually would, this is a good time for me to bring this up, though. So if we go ahead and do use my power rule, I could kind of quickly do the first one as 3 times, uh, let's see, 1 over 3 times x to the third. And then plus, let's call that c1. If I was just going to do this, would you guys agree with me on that? Does that look good? Is that what everybody got? Now, again, I'm adding a constant, right? But I'm just saying, oh, well, I have three of these, right? So why don't I label then each constant as like 1, 2, and 3? Just constant 1, constant 2, constant 3, right? I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it, right? Every, every antiderivative had its own constant. So we do C1. Then let's do the next one. So the next form, 5x, that's going to be plus 5 times, if we take the power here as 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so that'd be 1 half times x to the second power plus c2. Yes, doesn't that make sense? Yes, no, everybody OK with the power rule? Yes. And then we have our third one, which hopefully you guys can see is the derivative of what gives you 1. That's going just going to be x plus c3. So if I kind of like clean this up here, I have 3 that goes to x cubed um, plus 5 halves x squared plus x plus c1 plus c2 plus c3. And that just kind of gets a little confusing, right? I mean, why do we really need to add c1, c2, c3, right? Especially when we have c when we have the cookie monster, which is just going to collect all those cookies into one, and we just get one constant. Because again, remember guys, this just, remember, this just represents your constant. So C, big C, just represents whatever all of these three are added up together. It doesn't really matter what their values are or how you want to do it. It's just going to be the three Cs, right? So you don't need to, what I'm trying to tell you is, you don't need to do this. It's not mathematically wrong if you're doing it. You just don't need to do it. You can just add your C at the end. Just don't forget to add your C at the end. Make sense? OK? So don't need to do different Cs for each integration. Just do it once. 